get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play. Second down, Webb. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is going to be often on fumbles. You look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now well, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Again, it's McCoy. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They had great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Working from the gun, Rodgers finds his target, Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And here we go on first and goal. Now McCoy. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. LaShawn McCoy, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Packers have taken the early lead. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. Crosby on now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there. 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him? Giving him the ball again, and he repaid on picking up a first down. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. To throw on second down, here's Webb. And he 
he slides to avoid the hit. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Webb now. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think there he had to come off of his primary receiver in a big way, just trying to get it to a secondary guy, unable to get that play completed. Checked down, but didn't even have enough time to do that. Incomplete. Second down, McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? A first update now out of Jacksonville. And the early going, it's the Texans out in front. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. A play fake. Now Webb gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. 18 yards there and a first down. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Ohio, Ohio. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Webb. Caught left side by Funches. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Devin Funches, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Throwing now is Rodgers. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now McCor, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. 
On second down, here's Rodgers. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to LaShawn McCoy, and it's third and five. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So Possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. Yeah, that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. And hello, he's going to be knocked backward as he'll be marked down. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. He'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Here we go. Webb now from the gun. And he fires one, but incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Second down. Trying to hit the tight end, Bennett, but it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. 
That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. This is McCaffrey. Sharp there with his feet. Gets him a little extra space. And then dropped just inside the 20. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Here's Webb. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. We remind you that coming up later tonight, oh, this is going to be a good one. The Cowboys and the Raiders going at it in the East Bay. Oh, that's old school right yeah, there. Yeah, old school indeed. Then Monday night, another good late-season matchup. The Falcons and the Buccaneers from Tampa to wrap up Week 15. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. That throw good for four. It's second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call <laughs> it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. On second down, it's McCoy. And some room to work. And they do finally get him at the 12. It's a big run there by McCoy. 63 yards. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That connection with Jordy Nelson coming on the drag route. Hard to believe that he was a walk-on. Yeah, for Kansas State. <laughs> it's so hard to believe that people missed entirely on him. But how about his ability to work and run any route you need? And that completion is evidence that it doesn't matter what you call him, he's going to find a way to get open. Walk on at Kansas State. Now the locker rooms are named after him there. touchdown but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one they only got two but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal Second and goal. 
They'll try and run it with McCool. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, his second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. And that makes it 14-10. Crosby on now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Not able to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Here we go. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now Webb. Flushed out right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Run it well picked and his guys are going to take over at the 31 yard line how about the big boys snagging one you don't see that every week no you don't but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams going back to when they were in youth football and in high school they didn't always play defensive line some of them actually handled the football and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one now a first down carry here for McCoy and room there to work it inside the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. They'll go again to McCoy. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a third down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. remain here in the first half back with more from Charlotte after this The Packers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Second quarter in Cleveland, and it's the Browns out to the early advantage. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Here's the Panthers punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And some room to maneuver. And he's brought down after a good game. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So it'll be first down here after the run. Keep it on the ground with McCoy. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The Packers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. 319! 319! 319! Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's got Bennett. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. out incomplete so he can't hang on and as I watch that unfold I remembered an expression that I've heard maybe from you I don't know but you're gonna get hit anyways might as well hold on to the ball all right you know a coach <laughs> said that right yeah. not an actual player not a chance at all way easier said than done looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be a 34-yard attempt. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So a little fortunate there because that one was definitely leaking right. Without a doubt, maybe about the width of a football or so inside that right upright. But he got it to go. Carolina getting set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Here's McCaffrey, stays on his feet. And he's gonna be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Just one yard to go here on second down. McCoy. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. In my book, that's running the ball well but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Rodgers now on first down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Mario Addison in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. They go now to McCoy. He's seen a ton of action this afternoon. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On third and long, it's Rodgers. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. He dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. 
It's taken to the 26. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Off play action, it's Webb. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep find some space and open things up again being aggressive there i think will pay off for them now a run with mccaffrey and he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two that play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it but still Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one to throw Webb. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. His kick is absolutely perfect. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one. Take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. This is McCoy. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They'll run it with McCoy. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. I think many people thought Ty Montgomery would automatically go back to being a wide receiver this year, but it appears he's going to stay at running back. I know they drafted Jamal Williams from BYU, but Montgomery proving his worth. And he proved it, yeah, proved it last year. 5.4 yards per carry, fourth best in the league. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Calling it in, Nelson. The old connection, Rodgers to Nelson, getting Green Bay a first down. 
I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Around the NFL, they've gone to the third in Cleveland. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Rodgers now on first down. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. Yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Offense staying ahead of the chains here, second and three. They go back to the ground with McCoy. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Packers! LaShawn McCoy, his third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. And the Packers add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, this could be in a second half no matter what. With those first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get sick. This is caught inside the 15. A big play there for Carolina. And even 60 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Second down following the run. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Of the gun, it's Webb escaping the pressure right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Montrevious Adams in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. 
teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Here's McCoy, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. And he uncorks a beauty best of the day. This is taken at about the 14. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Panthers coming out now. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball. And then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a good deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And a third down pass falls incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Here's the Panthers punter now, standing just about on his own goal line. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Again, it's McCoy. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. Carolina getting set to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And that gets him a little room as he'll take this up over the 10-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. On second down, Webb. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he loses the football a second time. Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Fresh set of downs here. McCaffrey. Now despite a little sizzle on the move, he's still tackled shy of the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. To throw on second down, here's Webb. And the tight end Olsen, right side. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. And now a first down following that long game. They'll run with McCaffrey. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Ten. 
From the gun, Webb. And his throw here is incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game prior to and maybe his rhythm got is just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. To throw again. Webb. And this is intercepted, and that should be tough by Blake Martinez. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. They have gone to the fourth quarter, by the way, in that game in Cleveland. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Another victory, perhaps, in the cards. They're looking as good as anybody as the playoffs draw near. Now on first down, he's going to sneak it. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Far be it for me to second guess a call. I think the people in the stadium are probably doing the same thing. Did we just see a first and 10 quarterback snake for no gain? Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. The Packers on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and 11. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Football League, Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Packers, the final... Cause I'm, cause I'm shy.